Daddy's Home 2 is the highly anticipated, highly anticipated, <laughs> sequel to the first Daddy's Home movie from 2015, which, to give you an idea of where I'm coming from on this movie, I didn't like the first one very much. I wasn't really a fan. I didn't think it was very funny. I just didn't think it was that good of a movie. Uh, so going into this, I was kind of excited because of the new additions to the cast, uh, like John Lithgow and Mel Gibson in particular. Uh, so I was excited to see them and see how they would play into this and see if this would be any better than the first movie. And to answer that question, yeah, it is better than the first movie. I actually really enjoyed Daddy's Home 2. It's a really fun movie. It's not great by any means. It's got its problems, but honestly, for a comedy sequel to a movie I didn't even like, this is a huge step up. Like, this is a surprise. Because uh, I actually really enjoyed the movie. Uh, Mel Gibson in particular, that is the part of this movie I think was the best. Mel Gibson in this movie is fantastic. He's hilarious. He's really, really good here. Uh, and his rapport with Mark Wahlberg, they have like a father-son thing going on. It, it, he's like the tough father and yeah, uh, not to give any spoilers because this is, doesn't come out for like another month, but yeah, they have a good rapport with each other. Uh, as do John Lithgow and uh, Will Ferrell. I actually believe the father-son duos here. And they're really good. Every Everyone in the cast has fantastic chemistry. They all work off each other perfectly. And as I said, Mel Gibson's like the... He's the scene stiller here. He is great. And it's great seeing him act again. It's great seeing him in comedies again. He hasn't been in a comedy in a while. So it's really great seeing him uh, back in action here. Uh, so yeah... He's great. Uh, Will Ferrell's a lot of fun here, as is Mark Wahlberg. Uh, they're both very fun. Uh, I will say Will Ferrell and John Lithgow. Okay, they're both really good in the movie. John Lithgow actually is a, a very good supporting lead. Um, but their shtick does get a little old. I will say that. That is one of the problems this movie does have. Uh, their shtick can get a little tiresome at times. Uh, and we'll get into more problems in a second here, but... I'll continue talking about things I did like. This is also a very fast-paced movie to after like the first 20 minutes or so, which are a little rough. But after that, it's really fast-paced. It's only like 95 minutes. It's something along there. Uh, it's it's a fairly tight movie. Has a good story. It has a very good Christmas feel to it. It is definitely a Christmas movie, which is weird. I saw this in like mid-October, and uh, Christmas is still over two months away. But it got me in the Christmas spirit. It's a very good Christmas movie, and. I knew it took place around Christmas from the trailers, but I honestly didn't expect it to be as reliant on Christmas as it is. Uh, it's almost like its own like spiritual successor to Christmas Vacation, just maybe not as good. Uh, but I don't know, that's kind of the thought I had while watching it. Maybe not, but whatever. Uh, but no, yeah, the cast here is fantastic. It's actually a pretty funny movie. For the most part, there are jokes that do fall flat. There's slapstick humor that doesn't really work. But overall, the jokes here are pretty solid. Uh, the cast, fantastic. They all bounce off, off, each, other, or off of each other perfectly. Uh, and the story itself isn't anything too massive. But it's a nice little contained story. It's a nice little comedy sequel. I rather enjoy the movie. It has problems. As I said, it starts off a bit, a bit rough. It starts off kind of not dull by any means. It It's entertaining enough. But the first 20 minutes or so, it does take some time because a lot of the stuff in the first 20 minutes are shown in the trailers. And I've seen the trailers so many times because I've been to a lot of movies where they've shown uh, the trailer for this in front of that uh, said movie. Uh, so I've seen this trailer a lot. And the first 20 minutes are basically that trailer... Uh, and a summation. Uh, it, this, the trailers don't give a lot away, I'll say that much. Uh, but yeah, so I will say that right now because it's really not even the movie's fault, it's more advertising's fault, but it did affect my experience, so I had to kind of mention it. Uh, and as I said, some of the jokes don't really work. There's some slapstick humor that doesn't really work. The shtick with John Lithgow and Will Ferrell can get a little tiresome at times. I, I will say that much. And there's also a couple tiny little subplots that didn't need to be in the movie, but they're fine, I guess. Uh, there's one in particular, though, that really didn't need to be in the movie, about uh, Mark Wahlberg's wife in the movie. Uh, it's such a small little thing, and it didn't matter at all. It could have been completely cut. Uh, 
who knows, maybe by the time this comes out it will be because we got like surveyed after this movie. So I don't know how that's gonna work, but yeah. So I'm gonna give Daddy's Home 2 a B. It's a pretty solid movie. I actually really enjoyed this movie. For the two movies I saw this week that were like uh, current releases or whatever, uh, Happy Death Day and this, I actually enjoyed this movie a little more. Because uh, they're both kind of comedies in a way. Uh, but no, this is just a very fun comedy sequel. It's it's really comes down to that. It's just a fun movie. But yeah, so that's my review for Daddy's Home 2. Uh, uh, I guess I'll review maybe The Foreigner this weekend. I guess we'll have to see. Uh, maybe some other things. I don't know. We'll have to see. But yeah, so that's my review for Daddy's Home 2. So, peace.